Oprah Winfrey is best known for her role as a media mogul. She created and hosted The Oprah Winfrey Show, one of the most watched talk shows in television history. It solidified Oprah's status as the queen of all media. According to Forbes, Oprah Winfrey has an estimated net worth of $2.8 billion. In this video, we are going to take a look at Oprah Winfrey's net worth and lifestyle. Watch the video to find out. Before we commence, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to be notified each time we upload a new video. Before Fame Oprah Gail Winfrey was born on January 29, 1954, in Kosciuszko, Mississippi. She was born to Vernita Lee and Vernon Winfrey, who were unmarried teenagers at the time of her birth. She was initially raised by her maternal grandmother, Hattie Mae Lee, in rural Mississippi. Oprah's early years were marked by poverty and hardship. She first attended Lincoln High School in Milwaukee, but after succeeding in a special program, she secured a transfer to Nicolay High School in an affluent suburb. She returned to Nashville after getting into some sort of trouble. At the age of 17, Oprah won the Miss Black Beauty Tennessee pageant, which led to a part-time position as a news anchor at a local black radio station named WVOL. She received a scholarship to Tennessee State University, where she majored in communication. Oprah dropped out of school at the age of 19 to pursue a full-time career in the media. Media Career Oprah became the first black female news anchor at Nashville's WLAC-TV. She was also the station's youngest anchor in its history. When she was 22, she was hired by WJZ, a Baltimore television station, to co-anchor the 6 o'clock news. She began co-hosting a talk show dubbed People Are Talking in August 1978. By 1980, she had surpassed nationally syndicated Phil Donahue in the Baltimore area. She was making $220,000 per year by the end of her Baltimore stint. Recognizing her talent, ABC granted Oprah her own 30-minute morning talk show in Chicago in 1984, which was produced by King World Productions. King World was also responsible for the creation of Jeopardy! and Wheel of Fortune. The role came with a four-year, $1 million contract, with an annual salary of $250,000 at the time. How Oprah Became a Billionaire Oprah Winfrey made her first million in 1986, the same year her eponymous program debuted nationwide in just one year. She put her early profits into a $100,000 square foot, $20 million production facility that stretched up a full block on Chicago's west side. With the establishment of this new production company, Harpo Productions, she gained complete control of the program and all of the tasks that were previously performed by outsiders. Harpo Entertainment Group grew fast into an entertainment empire, producing her daily talk show, feature films, and TV movies. By 1995, she had amassed an estimated $340 million fortune, making her the first black woman to appear on the Forbes 400 list of the richest Americans. Oprah's net worth rose to $550 million in 1997, and she became a billionaire in 2003. After 25 years on the air, Oprah announced the end of her TV program and, in collaboration with Discovery Communications, created her own cable channel, The Oprah Winfrey Network, in 2011. Her 25.5% stake in the network is worth around $70 million. Winfrey purchased 10% of Weight Watchers in 2015 but now owns 7%, with options to acquire further shares. Today, Winfrey has a net worth of $2.8 billion, with the rest of her fortune made up of profits from her television network's own payments from WW, formerly Weight Watchers, and her deal with Hearst to produce O oh, the Oprah magazine. According to reports, she now earns more than $315 million per year from her profitable, diversified media empire, which she has built over the years. Real Estate Portfolio Oprah owns several properties in the United States worth over $200 million, including a $29 million equestrian farm near Montecito that she bought in 2016. The farm spans 23 acres and boasts an avocado orchard. The house comes with a pool, four separate fireplaces, and four bedrooms. Her main home is worth more than $50 million. This gigantic 23,000-square-foot Georgian on a 60-plus acre estate is lined with live oak trees, a rose garden tea house, and a pond with a fountain. The California mansion is so vast that groundskeepers and security detail move around by golf cart. 
Oprah spent $14 million to purchase 60 acres of land in the Colorado ski resort of Telluride in 2014. This ski cabin features five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a living room. Private Jet The self-made billionaire Oprah Winfrey owns a private jet worth $75 million. The Gulfstream G650 was reportedly built in 2015 and delivered to Winfrey in 2016. The Gulfstream G650's cockpit is outfitted with cutting-edge avionics and flight management technology. The plane can carry up to 16 passengers. Artwork Oprah Winfrey is a passionate collector of art, and she has spent millions of dollars buying some of history's most famous works. In 2006, Winfrey paid $87.9 million for a 1912 Gustav Klimt artwork at Christie's Auction House. She later sold it for an incredible $150 million in what Bloomberg dubbed one of the biggest private art deals of 2016. Winfrey received a 71% return on her investment, generating a $62.1 million profit on the sale. Car Collection Oprah was so excited to become a Tesla Model S owner in 2015 that she posted photos of herself test driving and purchasing her Tesla with a dealer on Instagram. The talk show host loves American SUVs, as she owns both a Cadillac Escalade and a Lincoln Navigator. Oprah Winfrey once owned a 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. The classic was originally owned by the ultra-wealthy DuPont family before finding a new home in Oprah's garage. However, this classic is now in another garage after Oprah auctioned it off in 2014 for a massive $605,000. Besides these vehicles, Oprah could own more cars in her collection. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment.